uh, that's why we wanted the brewery to be identifiable to Orleston. We didn't want to go down the line of having a beer that meant nothing to your hometown. So okay. we, we wanted it to, if it travels, people will know it's come from Orleston because of the names and the, okay. the, the connection. Is, it, is the water important? The water is very important. Um, we have it an, analyzed. Um, so where does your water come from? It's a tanker? It's, or? No, it's main, mains. And mains the, water? Mains water, where, uh, the same as where we were in our last... So where does, where does your, our mains water come from, actually? What? I think it's Paul Quebec. Right, okay. So right. It's, it's actually quite good water. Yeah, yeah, good. Originally, if you go back long enough, every single town in the country would have had three or four brew houses. Right. It's actually going back to the old days. Yeah. We, we can, we've come sort of in a full circle mm -hmm. because there would be three or four people in a village that would brew and every big house would have had in the, the cook would have been obviously doing the cooking but they would also have had to do the brewing as well so would farms brew their own beer farms would have brewed their own beer but right. obviously if you had a big house the servants would have been interviewed and um the best beer a lot of uh, the cold ale wives if you could brew a good batch of beer, you got a good husband because he wanted to impress <laughs> his visitors. Mm -hmm. So if you could brew, you know, you, you were taken on and a lot of times they actually married the owner of the house because they good, made good beer. So it was the women that were behind the brewing? The women, sort of, in the olden days because it was on smaller batches and then it, it got to the point where... Um, the, the taxes came in and the, the government actually took more and more so it be, and then bigger breweries set up making it more economical and that's when men took over because it was more of a physical okay. and I think men probably understood the engineering more because women were just bakers cooks and they didn't go to college and learn all the engineering um, but the big six as they were uh, I think more and more people don't want to have six choices. Okay. They want to have lots of different choices. Mm -hmm. So I think that's where the, the smaller microbreweries are booming because there are so much choice for people to offer. Because not everybody's palate is the same. Mm -hmm. Some people like hoppy beers, some people like malty. There's so many different hops and different malts you can create a different flavour. So, I think so you, you, the water comes from... I think it's Paul Quebec that All right, the okay. beer is actually called. Um, your ingredients, hops? Hops, we get them from the hop merchant in, in uh, Yorkshire, but they're sourced from all over the world. Yeah, okay. And what what other ingredients are there? The, the malts we get from Castleford. That's right. our nearest maltster. And, and what is malt exactly? A malt, we get a different, uh, it's barley that it has been... It's been roasted. It, some of it's been roasted. It depends on how much it's been roasted for the flavours that right. it in, in, has in the right. um, beer. So obviously if you put more crystal, it gives it more of a toffee sort right. of flavour. The chocolate malts give it a little bit more, um, more coffee. Right, okay. Dif different flavours. Right, okay. Oh. And I noticed the beers go up to, is it 5.5% 5 .5 alcohol? We do a 6.3 at Christmas, but right. it's only a, a winter. Would you say that the higher percentage alcohol beers are necessarily better? Right. But I'm thinking about the flavour. Does um, what you get by brewing higher, all the uh, side products, um, does that contribute to the flavour a lot? Because there's so many different hops and different malts, you can create lots of different flavours on a low strength. Right. But you've got a limit to the, how low you can go to be able to get that flavour. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you're going into the 5%, you can, you, you can get a little bit more warming sensation. Right, which, okay. add, which adds to it. You don't get the same warming sensation from a low strength beer. Mm -hmm. So you get a bit more of a rounded beer mm. when it's a little bit stronger, I think. Right, so. okay. And uh, your interest in beer sprung from what? Um, I was a lager drinker until I met my partner, Paul. Um, he's always been into beer. And he introduced me when we went to the Orbison Beer Festival in 
2000. And from there I tasted Only quite... Only 10 years ago. Yeah, I tasted quite a few of the paler beers, which were a bit similar to lager, and realised they weren't as gassy, you didn't get a hangover, right. and a bit more interesting. So, from the pro of actually making beer, when did that come, how did that come well, about? Well, we started brewing in the garage. We decided to sort of experiment. And, and when uh, was this? That was in 2000. Really? Um, for our own consumption, and thought mm, some of the beers that we were producing in the garage were equally as good as what you paid for in a pub, if mm-hmm. not better than some. Um, and I wanted to do something different. I, I'd done hairdressing for 25 years, and I just wanted a new um, challenge. Um, but my partner, he works at the gas terminal, and also his job is quite secure, and, and it was better for me to sell my business, see how it went, rather than put all your eggs into one right. basket. Um, we went to the Brew Lab course, which was uh, like just a three-day intense startup, which was interesting. Um, we also, uh, Foxfield, the Prince of Wales, Stuart there, he allowed us to brew commercially on his plant, right. which is a two and a half barrel plant. So it was great to have that commercial mm-hmm. uh, to see mm-hmm. how it went, mm-hmm. you know, because obviously brewing 36 pints in your garage isn't mm-hmm. the same as brewing sort of a few barrels of beer, um, which they allowed us to brew beer for the next beer festival, which we actually got second in the brewers category mm-hmm. and second with Lawns of Pine and Bad Medicine. So it just gives you that a little bit more encouragement just to say that you were doing the right thing. Mm-hmm. So from there we looked for a plant, which it, it took us a long time to find a, um, a second hand, because it's not something you can buy off the supermarket shelf. Right. Uh, and the building. We really wanted to be in Ulverstone, but at the time there was nothing that was suitable. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. But we still carried on looking for premises in Ulverston. So all this equipment you've got looks new? It is. This is new, newly fabricated. 